Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at using known vulnerable components. We'll explain what using known vulnerable components is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is the using known vulnerable components vulnerability? Using known vulnerable components occurs when an application uses third-party libraries, frameworks, components, or other software that is out of date and contains published vulnerabilities. What causes the using known vulnerable components vulnerability? This vulnerability occurs because low priority is usually given to ensuring that used libraries and components are up to date. Dependencies can further complicate the effort of using the most secure components. To understand the using known vulnerable components vulnerability, let's look at an example. Let's say a website has been online for years. The CMS software upon which it has been built has never been updated. Given the age of the CMS, numerous vulnerabilities have been identified since it first came out. An attacker analyzes the website and is able to identify the version of the CMS. Using a publicly available exploit, they are able to successfully attack the site and gain access to the administrative account. Now they have access to all other user accounts. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, a website uses a vulnerable open source library downloaded from a public repository such as GitHub. A locally available copy of a source library is integrated into an application without checking for the latest version. An attacker analyzes the website and is able to identify details about the library used. Using a publicly available exploit, they are able to successfully attack the site and access an administrative account. Using known vulnerable components can cause almost any type of risk. This can range from the most harmless impact to complete host takeover. Components usually run with the full privilege of the application. For example, a SQL injection could result in theft of user accounts and other sensitive data, resulting in privacy violation and reputation damage. Or, a remote code execution vulnerability could lead to host takeover and make your site unreachable, resulting in reputational damage and revenue loss. To prevent the using known vulnerable components vulnerability, developers should implement a process to manage the security of third-party software. This should involve identifying third-party components, their versions and dependencies. Check them regularly against vulnerability lists and update them when needed. Developers should subscribe to cybersecurity related mailing lists from information security sites and software vendors. They must also regularly search vulnerability databases. Furthermore, implement security policies governing components use to define, evaluate and ensure safety of components. Restrict the use of unused, insecure or unsafe component functionalities. Congratulations! You have now completed this module using known vulnerable components.